What's up guys, XHourKiwis here, and today I do have 20 of the 82 plus pass and player packs. Um, it is post-com purely because I opened them all on stream and was an absolute dickhead and completely forgot to um, turn off the music. So we sat there playing copyrighted music the whole time I was opening the packs. And it was only a couple of videos ago where um, I actually packed Baby Dino. The YouTube gave me a copyright strike because apparently the non-copyright music that I used was a non-copyright. So that um, does mean that this is post-come unfortunately. But as you can tell by the title, I did get some very nice uh, rule breaker pulls that you will see. And an incredible pull that is literally coming up in maybe one or two packs time. But let me know if you guys have opened any of these packs. I know quite a few people have opened a few. And they've been really good to me, to be honest, as you will see. But look at this. Walk out Argentina, right wing. We get the GOAT himself. The greatest player of all time. Without it even being close. The, the GOAT is, of course, Lionel Messi. But what I didn't actually realise is that he goes for 440 carats I him for. Like, Messi is literally never below a million coins in FIFA, it seems. And he's 440k. Like, that is just ridiculous. Um, I was actually a bit upset here, because I don't know about you guys, but if a player has a lot of games for you, um, I don't particularly like getting rid of them. Like, Messi having over 350 games already for me is a lot, so I was pretty sad to let it go, but obviously I couldn't just not tell him for 440k but yeah like if a player if i've got a guy that's like 10k and i pack him untradeable i will literally still li just leave the tradable 10k one in the club if he's got like 300 plus games but i don't know maybe i'm a weirdo but yeah i couldn't believe it um messi for messi is an incredible pack pull obviously i just couldn't believe it was 440 of course i'm extremely happy with it anyway before people say I'm ungrateful, I just can't believe how absolutely dead the market is. I mean, I sold Messi for like 440, and then ended up buying um, CR7 for like 650. When on earth has CR7 been anywhere near under a mil, let alone 650? Uh, we get informed Brooks there as well. Uh, no, not Brooks, Wilson, sorry. Um, but yeah, I've got so many untradeable informs in the club as well. I think I looked, and I've got like um, 15... No, I got 17 untradeable informs and like 15 tradable informs. Because every time I get the informs from champs, I always forget to sell them and they end up just being stored in the club. But uh, yeah, as I was saying, let me know if you guys have opened any of these packs. I was speaking to a lot of people in stream and they said they've opened a lot. And um, pretty much everyone that I know has packed something good from these. Honestly, I've been getting a walkout in probably every five or six packs also i don't know if that's good or not but what a horrific card this uh fabian's got by the way really nice to of course pack a special card but yeah his actual card in game is horrific um literally no stat that's usable but yeah i say every like six packs or so i'm getting a walkout even if i'm not getting walkouts in the others i'm packing so many 83s 84s and 85s that um i definitely say these are going to be worth doing. I'm going to be streaming again tonight. This will be released Wednesday. So I will, uh, I'd will. i open these on stream Tuesday night. Uploading them for a video Wednesday night. And then I should be doing um, at least 20 more on stream tonight as well. Um, Rivals video will be out tomorrow afternoon, boys. I've, op um, I've, op I've got up early, sorry every single week to open them at nine or eight when they've come out but unfortunately i do have work from half seven until 12 tomorrow so uh, i will try and upload it for about two o'clock uh, one two o'clock in the afternoon but yeah unfortunately no rival rewards in the morning they will be afternoon that being said i am still currently in div two anyway obviously i was in the elite division from the very first week but you uh, do get relegated down to Division 2, and I'm currently still like Div 2 rank 2 or something. I've only played 3 or 4 games so far, so yeah, I'm going to need to grind. I'll probably just play to Div 1. Um, you don't get the player pick in Div 1, which is sad, but 
the actual packs, the difference between Div 1 and the Elite Division isn't that much anyway. So yeah, hopefully get Div 1 rewards tomorrow. As we get into another pack, I, I'm not even really been watching here. Um, video boys have kind of just been speaking and chatting shit so I actually don't have a clue what pack I'm on to be honest but yeah as I say there's not many non-boards that you can get I think somebody's people have said there's 76 um, cards that you can pack in this pass and upgrade and there's only like 10 or so that aren't boards which is a very very good return which gets me on to another point actually of saving packs a couple of people have asked me if it's worth saving these packs for Team of the Year. And it's a very simple answer. If you are saving packs for Team of the Year now, then yes, I would 100% save them some of these packs. However, I personally would never start saving for Team of the Year this early. One, because I literally need to be able to open packs for YouTube videos every week so I can do it. But two... The amount of promos that we get now and the amount of packs that we can get, I just, I don't think it's worth saving packs. Because you can save like a good 30, 40 packs probably in a week or two. And then let's be fair, we get a new promo pretty much every other week at least nowadays. So I'd save packs and end up just getting bored and opening them, opening them for a new promo anyway. We do get another numbers up card. I might have said rule breakers earlier actually. Uh, it's numbers up obviously. Um, we get Vayner. Not a bad card. I remember his 91 Future Stars card. I think it was last year. Was a very very nice card. Unfortunately this card not great. Shit shooting. Shit weak for pretty pointless um, in my opinion. But yeah saving packs. Again let me know if you boys are saving packs. I know a lot of people do. But I still feel like. It's very early now. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. I am looking at something on the screen. Uh, yeah, that's right. We're getting into packs now. We're fine. Um, but, yeah. Um, I've completely forgot where I was. I was um, messing around on stream something. And it's ruined my video because I forgot where I am. So, yeah, just packed him again. Um, yeah, I've packed quite a few from this. Griezmann I packed. Jorginho off stream. Um... I can't remember. I packed someone else. I think it was Bruno. I packed off stream as well. Opening these. So they are pretty good. I don't know if that's said four that we've got left now. I didn't really have a plan of anything to talk about uh, during this video guys. So I've kind of just mumbled my way through it. And um, yeah. Just chat shit for the most of it. But hopefully you guys are enjoying the video anyway. Without uh, my horrific voice over the top. Don't worry, on stream, I don't talk that much, boys. It's just pure singing, which everybody loves in my streams. But it's, it's a longer video than I've done for a while, purely because it just takes a while to open packs. I love opening these packs, but they just take ages to build, because my club is dead. I've literally only got 83 pluses for gold rares, and I've literally got no non-rares. So I have to go out and buy everything, I don't mind spending the coins because it's going to be good content for YouTube and Twitch. But it just sit, it like you sit there for half an hour buying and building packs. And you get like five from half an hour's worth. It just takes so long. But last pack. Here we have. I say good luck to you boys if you are opening any. Um, I would highly recommend opening at least five or so to give yourself a chance. We finished with a Tillerman, but overall, very, very good pack opening, in my opinion. And of course, a couple of all breakers is sick, and Messi is incredible. But, if you could, of course, leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't already, and that'd be really appreciated. That's going to be the end of the video from me, boys. Thank you for watching.